What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Second Accord and I'm going to do a very quick video showing you guys how to install Ice Cream Sandwich the new Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0 update on your Galaxy Tab 7.0 Plus um, right now this is the Wi-Fi only version that I have. Um, I'm not sure if this will work on on other devices. I do believe it will work on a 3G version but don't quote me on that. Um, so the tutorial I'm showing you is just on how to install it on the Wi-Fi only version and this is the 6210 and I am not responsible for any damage that happens to your device but it's quite simple um, I did the process it took just a few minutes so um, first things first you're going to need to be rooted um, the reason why you need to be rooted is because we're going to use mobile Odin for this you do not have to use mobile Odin if you're familiar with the PC and the PC Odin then by all means go ahead you can skip the whole uh, root step and mobile Odin step but I'm going to um, do it this way because mobile Odin is a very great program and in being rooted when you hit the ice cream sandwich is also a big plus so if you're not rooted go ahead and pause this video uh, look on my channel I have released a video on how to root the Galaxy Tab 7.0 plus it literally takes less than five minutes to root it. It's it's as easy as you need to download one file to your SD card, um, go to your recovery, and apply update from SD card and find that file you downloaded. And it's is that it. So that's how you root it. Um, you go ahead and pause this video. But anyway, first things first, you're going to need to look on your Galaxy Tab. And you have to go to the Android market and you're going to need to find Mobile Odin. And this is what it looks like. It should say Root Mobile Odin Pro. Um, go ahead and download that. It's a very, very great program. It is very it's dead simple to use. You cannot mess up. There's no technical, you don't need any technical skills to use this app. So um, it, it is a paid app. Um, I do believe it's $4.99. So go ahead and support your developer. Go ahead and download that. But uh, second off, you need to you need to go to your computer and open up your browser. And you're gonna need to go to S, uh, XDA Developer.com. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to xdadeveloper.com. And once you get to the main page, and you're going to uh, click on this tab that says Find Your Device. Click in Forms and then Find My Device. Find Your Device. You're going to type in uh, Galaxy Tab Plus. And then once you're there, you're going to get to. Um, You're gonna get to this tab right here, and you're gonna click on. You're gonna go into general. Once you're in general, you're gonna scroll down. I'm gonna show you guys. You're gonna scroll down until you see. P6210 ICS now available. The thread is by. Memrica. You're going to click on this and you're going to come to a couple of links here. Um, there's the Sam Mobile firmware and you're going to have to register if you want to get it from there and it's also from Hotfile. Um, you're going to go to click, when you click on Hotfile, so you click on Hotfile and then it's going to take you to here you're gonna have to wait a second it's gonna make you wait about 30 seconds and then you can click to download um, it is a 522 megabyte file and it takes forever it's gonna take about a half an hour almost 45 minutes to download this file so be patient um, if that's what you're doing right now I'm gonna click to download this file and go ahead and download the file and then pause the video and then wait till it's done. After that file is downloaded it should look something like this. It should say 
P6210, XXL, PL. What you're going to need to do is you're going to have to, you're going to need to click on that file and you're going to need to extract it. So you should see it here. I'm sorry. I'm going to show you guys actually an, an easier way. Uh, the way I did this is I um, grabbed that file down here and I drag it out to my desktop. After I drag it out to the desktop, it's going to be here. You are going to have to extract the file. You see the file? You can um, right click it. You're going to need 7 zip. And then once you uh, seven zip, you can extract the files. So the option I chose is to extract to here, and after it extracts it, it's going to put it back on your desktop. It's going to look like this. So it's going to look exactly the same as this one. The suffer is this one is zipped and this one is not. So you're going to have a folder that looks empty. Okay. And that and that's what you need. Next step is you're going to plug in your Galaxy Tab 7.0 Plus to your PC using the cord excuse me, I'm going to plug this, plug, well, plug, plug this in once you plug in their piece, uh, your Galaxy Tab it should pop up with the pop up, you know, pop up here soon here we go once it's here, you're going to need to click on the second one down. It's open device to view to view files. You're going to click on that, and you're going to have card, and you're going to have tablet. Um, you do need an SD card for this, so if you do not have an SD card, you I'm not going to be able to do this. So then, what you do is you take this file and you're going to drag it over to the card. I'm not going to do it because I already have it on there but you drag it over to the card and then you're going to open it and you're going to exploit your card just to make sure it's, it's, it's in there. Once it's in there there you go. That's all you, all, you, all you need. Make sure you put it in the root. Don't put it in, in, in any other folders. Just make sure it's on the root of the card. After it's on the card you're ready to go. You can uh, close all the windows. You can unplug. You can actually unplug your device because you don't need the cord any any anymore. So now this is where Odin, mobile Odin comes in. You're gonna find. You're gonna find uh, mobile Odin. Now, the first time you load up uh, Mobile Odin, it is going to ask you for super user uh, permissions. So go ahead and allow that. Um, you're probably going. It's going to say that, that it is outdated, and it's going to need to download some binaries and some files. So let it do its do its thing. The first time you're in Mobile Odin, and then once you're in Mobile Odin, it's a very very simple interface. You have all these options down down here, but the only one that you need to worry about is Open File. You're going to click on open file and you're going to go to your external SD card. And that same file that we had earlier is right here. So you're going to click on it and it has the file. You're going to click on the file and it's going to give you the file partitions that have been set. You're going to click OK. You're going to have some options down here. If you do not want to lose data, you don't have to lose your data. You do not have to um, reset your data, actually. So it's very great. Um, you're going to enable and leave these checked, enable Everroot. What this will do is this will, once it's um, all said and done, you will be rooted again when you're on ice cream sandwich. And you're going to have some options down here. Um, you, if you want to wipe data and cache, you can do that. Um, but if you want to keep your data, 
and then all you're going to do is you're going to click start the firmware flash. I'm not going to do this because I've already done it and I don't want to do it again. So you're going to click firmware flash and you're going to get two options. Let me see if I could see what happens. And you're going to, uh, flashing firmware is dangerous and may make your device unusable. Continue at your armor so you want to continue. And you're going to click continue and then you're going to have two options. Uh, one is start anyway and one is check. Uh, it's going to say check MD5 sum. You're going to click that button that says check and that right there it's just going to make sure that that file was okay and ready and everything is okay ready to download. You're going to click on that file and it is going to do its thing. It is going to download the firmware. It's going to flash it right on your device. Make sure when you do this that your device is fully charged. It will take anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes. To, uh, for it to go through the entire process. Uh, I think I timed mine and it took about seven and a half minutes. It will reboot your device and once you reboot your device you will be on Android ice cream sandwich. And just to show you guys I am an ice cream sandwich. Uh, I'm gonna go to my about device. And it says Android version 4.0 and if you tap the little, keep tapping that, then you'll get the little ice cream sandwich Easter egg, and you can hold the. But there you go. Um, that firmware is that is an official Samsung firmware. It's not a leak build or anything. Uh, they released that in Europe, um, in maybe five or six countries. It's the same firmware they're gonna release here. Um. Only thing is they haven't released it here yet, but uh, it's very easy. And I will be doing a video after this, doing a quick, I mean a very in-depth review, showing uh, lots of the different features of Ice Cream Sandwich, um, going to the menus, um, let you know that this update is worth it. It is very, very fast. It's breathed new life to this tablet. But if any questions, please, 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 please leave comments. I will respond to pretty much any question that you throw at me. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, please. And if you like this video or any of my other videos, check out my channel. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Second Accord. I'm out.